This is complete and utter insanity, right? So I'm super just so over this because there's so much stuff and it's not the greatest stuff. And it just started raining. But look what I just found in here, right? I was questioning on whether to even go through this or just put it in, in the trash because I thought it was just rocks. Okay. Just look oh, at wow. this gold right oh, now. Wow. I mean, I have no idea what it is, but it's got to be good. Well, where's that? Uh, Pull it out of there. Where's that? What's it called? Yeah, that silver dollar. Dude, this like... is freaking insane. No f***ing way it's all silver. Today, I have planned something super cool. We found so much unbelievably epic stuff in the $2,500 storage unit. This is looking like a box of decent stuff. And then it's got this in it. Fantasy uh, cards. Everquest 2. Absolutely just gems. We still have like 40 boxes to go through that I haven't looked in. No idea what's in them. So today I have recruited Eddie. And we are going to be modern day treasure hunters and go through the rest of the unit, take everything out and see what treasures are left. Yeah, we got to go to the dump first. So I'm about to pick him up. We're gonna hit the dump and then we're gonna go to the unit, see what we can find. Yo, buddy, what's the claim? Oh uh, man, you're over here claiming me talking about smelling dumps and uh. Have you been here recently? <laughs> I have never been here actually. In your whole life? In my whole life, never been here. First timer, we got a first timer here. Yep. He said it doesn't smell bad in here. It's pretty, <laughs> he said it's actually pretty good to smell. I'll, I'll, I'll lay on top of it. We'll see once we get in here. Back there. All right, thanks, dude. All the trash from the whole county right that there. That's crazy. Just dump a lump. Look at that. Anything you ever threw out came here. Shoes and everything. Oh, yeah. Needles. Everything. I would not work here. They got one of those uh, dummies that you, you, you box. Look at this. Spray painted fence. Damn, they're filled up today. Yeah, that's an extra charge though. I don't have any tires. They they make like playground dirt out of it. First time. Yeah. Would you say it smells pretty good? I would say it smells good. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like full on medical waste. Look at that. Yeah, it's not great. This is not good for your health, no, bro. This is not great. All this. So not this. Yeah. We might use that, but everything else is going out here. Not the TV. They won't take that. The bins too? Yeah, everything. But the TV. Do they charge you for that? Yeah, you get charged. It's $90 a ton.
Yeah, I swear to God. Yeah. That was where? It was in here. Oh, I thought you found it on the ground from last time we nah, were here. I went and bought another one, but it, it's a little bit different, but uh, it's time to get a new one, and I found this. And so stoked. you're stoked. I'm very stoked. So now all I have to do is go get um, liquid, and I can stop smoking. Nice. He found his old vape. Uh, mine's just regular. Just regular? Just which, call you regular? Which, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> regular regular. Mr. Ed, I guess. Mr. Ed? Mr. Ed. All right, Mr. Ed. Live and indirect. <laughs> that's that's his Mad Max day. Okay. So what we're going to do here is, I already explained this to the, to the viewers already, but let's take every single box that's not opened up from there and just bring it out here. What about totes? That's what I'm saying. All the to everything that's in there. Like obviously we can see all this and know what it is. Yeah. All that stuff, bring it out. We'll stack it up here just around this general area. Just just don't block the big door and don't block this guy because if he comes, we don't want to have so to move it. Anything that's not open at all. Like like that's box up there. Yeah, like these all of those boxes, everything on here. Bring it out. Bring it out. Okay. That all that, yep. Could potentially have value and it could be trash that's that's the joy of it all is you really don't know what you're gonna find and some of these totes could just be stored up with absolute gold or absolute trash I'm gonna throw that out right I mean that's pretty much vintage like Easter stuff in there though that's true somebody might want that all right all right so yeah, we're just going to start going through it. Anything that we see that's pretty interesting, we'll just show to the camera. But So, like, stuff like this, I'm going to start lotting up uh, to be sold. Right. But I won't sell it probably individually. I'll probably sell, like, five to ten pieces. See that? Where's our trash can? Inside. Just oh, You can open it up now. That's crazy. It's like there's so many of these. Huh? There's so many of these uh, snow baby things. I might have to just sell them locally or something. Or, I don't know, like look how dirty that is. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna I, like try. I said, man, you can sit that in bleach. Hershey's cup. Hershey's cup. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Is it cool. chipped on the top? No. No, I mean, it has a little mark there, but no. That's a big coffee mug. Oh, yeah. Check this out, though. Bam. Bam. Furbies. Furbies. I haven't seen What is this? Ever. That's like a, like a, uh, not a knockoff, uh, like a special edition one or something. Look at this jewelry box. I remember Furbies were supposed to be worth so much money. They never were though. No. They're still cool. These but are, look at these things. This is a massive cat ornament, but broke, <laughs> it's chipped things. on the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if they have the whole thing, but it could be worth just putting them together as many as we do have, you know? Yeah. Isn't that like Chanel or something? It's, I mean, it's trying to be made to look like it. I oh, okay. Think. I'm not sure that it actually is. National stamp. Um, let's get to where the real stamps are, though. Stamp claims. And those are all books of stamps? Yep. I think. These so, are more uh, yep. of the key set, maybe. Yep. Or there's like 10 key See, sets. Like this shit, I, I, it's hard to even go through because you don't want to break anything. That's an interesting piece. Yeah, it's almost a computer piece. And then we got. A silver candlestick, plated silver. We got that's cool. The hot dog dog, still with the treats in there. Oh, I don't no, know why there's lettuce on it, but well, burger. Check this out. What is this? That's a transformer. It looks like that's pretty neat. That's like a solid toy. Feel that. Oh wow. Oh, this is like the thing from um. Like Alien versus uh, Predator, right? Robocop. Oh, it is? It, well, I don't think it is because the color is different, but it looks just like it. That's actually pretty cool for somebody's shelf. Let's see what's in here. See, this is like a whole Christmas one. Right. Is there candy in there? I don't know. I'm feeling like you should eat, e yo, right. you should eat that. I ain't eating that. That? Mm. You could try one. Just one. <laughs> just one? Yeah, you could try two if you want. Ugh. They're stuck together. You can't just have one. You got to eat all of them. Oh. Bentley's babies. 
<laughs> that was cool back in the day. They paid three bucks for it. Oh, I remember those things. This this lady had some bad taste, man. Also some good taste though. Yeah, but I mean That's I mean it could it would have been cool for a costume. Yeah, for a yeah, you're right about like that. Like if you were living in a biodome. <laughs> bio yeah. Which is actually not bad. Pyrex. It's gonna be brutal to shift. But right. then they just have like a sponge in here. A sponge, that's crazy. Why would they even put the sponge in there? I guess for extra packing. And then this thing says John Hancock, John Maddock and Sons, England. If this was a little cleaner, this, so this is like a two hundred dollar plate. Or I mean, two hundred year old plate. She wow. really had enough purses. That's, That's a like a laundry, laundry bag. Man, yeah. yeah, enough purses that she could just wear one a <laughs> day for the for, whole year for her life. <laughs> and they were in here for a long time because, like, you don't see purses deteriorate like that in a couple, nah, like know. even like a year, they wouldn't do that. They look old. Still open up. I mean, still in the dry cleaning. This one might just be new. That's that's, uh, that's brand new. That's wild. What was that a date on it? Is that awesome? You know what? I'm gonna give that the Salvation Army because that's that's not bad. No, it's perfect condition. Man. I mean, on it, honestly, all the clothes are donatable. This is straight leather. Look at this. Like suede leather. Look. That's, I know that's a good brand too. So I don't know, maybe that's good for the auction. It doesn't yeah. look in bad condition, that one. Do you want to keep that one too? Nah, that's that didn't catch my fancy the same way. Like this is suede, yeah. not as nice, but but check this out. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, I could see you wearing that. I could see it. It's all uh, just snake Jerry. skin. Oh, Jerry is, okay. Jerry is a good one. I don't know who that is. Huh? I don't know who that is, do you? The one that used to do the uh, donation thing and you would call on the phones and they would answer. It was like, like QVC? Not QVC. Uh, what do they call that? Donate however much money they want? Uh, I don't know. What do they call that? A fundraiser. And that was the guy? Yeah, Jerry Lewis. Is that the same guy, the designer? I think. No. That's what I mean. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. All right, intense music begins. Up. Oh. This is fire, actually. It's all Christmas. I actually did look in here. Oh, you did? Just slightly, but these are all vintage ornaments. Yeah. And definitely, I mean, look at it. Look at it. definitely gonna right. sell these on the auction. Yeah, these are cool. This one's broken, but so this I could actually take back home. I have to know what these are. Alright, he just popped the top on this big box right here. And we're blown away once again. These are like news articles. Whoa. The thing that sucks is like half the, most of the stuff is broken. Dude, I wonder what years this is. 1952, bro. Like, why did they even put it in storage? Like, look at how cool this would have been. This yeah. dragon. Yeah, that is cool. If it wasn't broken. Check out the date on these newspapers, bro. 52. Those could be worth money, actually. Absolutely. Oh, what is this? What is this, actually? I think it's just costume jewelry, but this might be the Mad Max glasses that we always needed. <laughs> Dude, it is. Look at these beauties. Nice. Old school, too. Oh, yeah. We are on point. <laughs> this is like... Back in business. Daytona Beach. 1993 bike week it's on <laughs> look at these things you look, bro you look like the guy that like they thought was like a time traveler <laughs> he was like way back in the day but like he was the only one with like a hurley shirt oh, i saw like, that picture yeah, yeah that's, who, that's who that looks like that's what i'm saying 1993 <laughs> daytona beach yeah, <laughs> spring yeah. break time traveler vibes harley davidson <laughs> all right Everything else is broken, but they decided to wrap this in a sheet, so it must be something cool. Sure. What is it? 
it's oh, wow. bro it's, it's also anyway. broken anyway but it was a really epic father christmas from the franklin mint they spent so much money just to have everything get broken in storage what's crazy is this guy didn't break and he wasn't wrapped at all maybe that's the way to go oh that's cool too man it's broken look check that out that was so cool that's a candle yeah i see and the whole thing burns this is just like this little estelle lauder bag huh Oh, it's just made filled with magnets. What's this thing? I've never seen this. No, no, no. That's an, an earring, I think. You will soon discover your hidden talent. And look at that figment. More 19, 1982. Yeah, that was before either. That was before. That's probably one of the coolest things in here. Those are cool. Yeah, they're not bad. It says Hollywood Beach. Whatever that means. That must be a brand of it. This one's cool though. It's it's neat. When you lot it up. Uh huh? Yeah, like when you lot it up. Right. It's so gnarly. Now there's a little hole in it, but I don't think it's broken at all. I think you put something in there maybe. Is it little Bo Peep? Are you seeing what this is? It looks like it's to hold your uh no no it's like that look like for for uh sewing for the thread mm, okay. that, oh, guy, yeah, that guy's got to be he's broken that looks like crystal columbus <laughs> does it say japan on the bottom yeah yeah those those are had a little bit of value if it said occupied japan it's even better but if it says what occupied japan oh i never even heard of that <laughs> one coin in the piggy bank right <laughs> yeah and you can't get it out? Well, I don't know. We're gonna have to attempt Santa, to get Santa's it. Sleigh. Oh, this is a good one, dude. What, the coin? For real, yeah. Old school? Just a, a, a really good piece. Three, uh, three big binder books of it. All right, we got it, it's coming. It's coming out, check this out. Right, Look, this ain't bad. This is this is the score of the day here. What? Oh wow! Look how thick it is. Silver, I think. It's a silver dollar, right? Yeah. It's not even in English, though. It's not even in English. 1896. No, it's 1899, I think. It's right before 1900s. It's 1896, bro. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. And it is solid silver. in English on this side. It's a silver dollar, yeah. Pretty cool. I haven't seen one of them in a long time. I don't know if I ever saw one exactly like this. I've never seen one that thick. Right? It seems crazy, right? Yeah, I've never seen one like that. I've seen silver dollars, but not like that. For hard times. Yup. It's right here, 80 bucks on eBay. Damn, she could have told the people, hold my storage unit, I have an $80 coin in there. So this is like a $100 piece right here, maybe. Uh -huh. This may be like a hundred dollar piece right here. Yeah, that's insane. That's a pretty gnarly uh, ball there, though. Look at that thing. It's cool too. You can use this as a movie prop. What is it? I don't know. It's like a pokey ball. Kind of. You put spells in there. Yeah. Look, 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 look. There they are. Is that the set? Yup. Wow. Yep. For once, there's something that's not broken. Uh huh. Or nope. is it? No, it's not. That's insane. So we got it. The Dragon Dynasty. Yep. This is a Franklin Mint piece too. We were buying stuff that was like expensive at the time, yeah. which is crazy. Oh. Which, which is isn't a bad blowing thing. my mind that they would even bother and then put it in here. Oh, here's more. Look. There it is. And look, that's broken, but that one underneath's not. Yep, and I don't think that's part of it. It's not, but I'm saying like we got lucky chances, with right? that one. Yeah. If they had some Halloween books, like um, you know, the shape Halloween, that, you know. The Lord of the Rings, no cover. So then I, we were going deeper, and I was like, I was waiting to find the Lord of the Rings, and here we go. The two towers. Hopefully, this is a first edition. It's definitely not, but if it was, we got Return of the King. No way. These books are wild. All them Conan books. Conan. 
underneath the, the shadow. The These are crazy bucks. Might have to just keep this box. I mean, there's probably a lot of BS in here, but. Oh, uh, more of the shadow. That must be a series. Yeah, an insane there's a bunch collection. I actually think this might be. Yeah, this is this. I I don't know what that is, but I definitely saw this already. So I might have gone through this box at some point. Yeah, I think I'm the one who put this stuff in this box. Oh, this is for like cruises and stuff. I guess there's a reason I kept it though. Some people like stuff like this. I mean, it has all the time periods, and maybe somebody's been to that, you know? The Trek cruise. Hmm. And then. Yeah, you're right. Like postcards for passport. wow, that's wild. Yeah, some... somebody's passport. <laughs> like I said, somebody might have went to that actual thing. Bro, like, oh, I was looking for this. Holy shit! Isn't that crazy? No, she's alive still, and we have her passport. That's yeah, the I'm... weird part about that. Newspaper articles. Is that what that is? Some of them, yeah. Or is it a cookbook? Oh wait, no. Somebody put their own story together. <laughs> like, it's a scrapbook. Right? I don't know. Yeah, it's newspaper articles, right? It's like, damn, dude, look how old these are. I don't know. That could be worth keeping. It's something, yeah, I was gonna say. It's definitely That's worth. something for sure. That thing's loud. That thing if is we were loud. in there, there'd, there'd be heat. Like, Do you want me to, like, like, walk up on you? Like, no, you could just start oh, okay. Yeah. So this one was pretty crazy. I just opened it. We're gonna do, like, a flag donation. Well, Honestly, we might give the flags away to somebody who buys some of the military stuff, actually, because it might go with it. But, like, yeah, that's a good point. What? What? Oh, this is just pots and pans. Kitchen stuff mixed with, of course, more Christmas. Empty items. boxes. That's empty. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. That could be worth a little bit, though. Cook's Hotel. I actually have the perfect thing for this, look. Cook's Hotel. They reunited once again. All right, let's get into this box a second here. Just to get a general idea, all right. Pots and pans. These are actually not bad. We used to use these for our cat bowls. Or definitely wild like pretty cool we're gonna go through this more off film ornaments no it's not this is different so this is like not the same thing that it says it is okay that's not anything i guess that's black they call that the black mold special Look at this. Snow White. All right, Christmas ornaments. The man, the myth, the legend. Well, that's Dale Jr., so his dad was the legend. Dale Jr. still killing it, though. These are really cool, actually. Hmm little glass this is for the Christmas lot so this whole box can go in the back there for now and then let's look in here because really this is like the last okay that's books is this the last box uh, yes. or did we already look through that? I already looked through it I can't so remember that's nothing that. then right yeah that, uh, that yeah, was, can, yeah that yeah. was just Christmas that's a donate so really we just have the art but we're gonna cut for a second clean all this up and then we'll look at the art Check this out. So this is getting out of control right now. But like, what is all this? Stamps? Stamps would be cool. Yeah, dude. All stamps. Are you seeing this? Yes, I am. What? How do you, how do you value these though? You Just like 500,000 stamps? Yeah, because we have binders, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> Show the binders. Like, are they out there binders. Still? Where are they? Uh, the big book. Oh, right here. Yeah, they're all stamps. That's so insane. 
That's all stamps right there. And we have another bag somewhere. That's the issue I'm having. <laughs> and what what might they be? The, it, those are, these are the ashes of the pets. Oh, more ashes? Okay. I was just confirming. Yeah, the pets' ashes. I don't know how many actual cremations there were in this unit, but it's getting up to close to like a dozen. With humans and animals included. Should we get into this? Oh, yeah. Alright. Finally, we're getting into the art. No idea what it actually is. Like, what the print is, if it's real, if it's a print. They do have a decent amount of original artwork, so. It's making my eyes itch, though, this bag. Mm. It's dusty. That, I was gonna say, it looks old. This is crazy. These are artifacts at this point. Relics. Little <laughs> <laughs> relic, right? Yep. And I don't know if old art means better art or not. I'm not sure. I guess it just depends on who it's by. The boy. Metal. Yeah. It's like a stop sign. It's literally, it looks like it's copper. I've never seen any Copper. Like Painted on copper. First. That's a first for me. I never saw that before. Sonar. Let's see the last piece. We have two more actually. Ooh. <laughs> that almost looks like a family portrait. It's five it's the the couplets. Octomom? <laughs> it's more than the quadruplets. What do you call that? That's five. Uh, That's a five twin th thing. Isn't that what that is? Yeah, because I know there's the sextuplets after like... I don't know. I'm not sure. It's getting serious now. Actually, we don't need the gloves. Let's just put this in here. It's going to cut through this like nothing. This, I have no idea what this is. If that's their family or something. It's, we last, have found some odd stuff in here, though. The last piece, though, is could be serious. Look at this. It's from Nepal. Oh, wow. That's almost like a like a paint-by-number kind of... What? Bob Ross type chisel. Tibetan dragon print. That's actually pretty cool. It's just different, you know? I thought it would be better. But I've never seen like, it, it's like on cardboard, dude. No, right. it's cool for sure. I think it might be an original piece. Like somebody that, maybe they're not a big artist or any design. Maybe it's like a family member or something. Yeah, no, you're true. Posted on, <coughs> posted on eBay. Okay, what is it? It's pretty sick. Or not eBay, uh, Facebook. Oh, wow. It's kind of like beat up. Like, I don't know. It's, is it cool? Is it, it is cool. Is it like even work? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Like if somebody tried to clean it off, they'd be able to get that stuff off? Um. Cause like you ha it had so brown, right? I think it gives it its charm now to be honest with that kind of mirror. But um, they, yeah, they'd probably have to like take like a, um, like a flathead screwdriver or something and they can get all that out, you know? Maybe one of those air guns. A lot of that like, shit. Look how crazy just the regular glass is. How dirty it is. And we need um, like a Windex or, you know. But all that stuff's just dirt, you know. Like dust and all. It's not as bad as you think it is. You're right. It's not bad. It's terrible. <laughs> but you're right. That someone who's going to buy it's going to see what it looks like before they buy it. it. Like, that's what gives that free. Like, I, honestly, I would buy it because it's like that. I mean, yeah, I would get the dust and stuff out. Oh, okay. Oh, eBay, that's right, yes. What should I just call it, Fan? No, no, just Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mermaid Mirror. For real, if I posted this to Facebook Marketplace, 
Yeah. Do you think I could get like 150 or is that crazy? I was going to say 100. You, you could always post but... high and then go low. Right. Because yeah. I think it's definitely worth 100. I was going to say I would buy it for 100. Like if I had a place to put it and like I was looking for something like that. Nobody's looking for something like no, this. No, but somebody though. might be looking for mirrors. And then they see that and they're like, oh shit. Like that's cool as hell. What is this even? That's a uh, mermaid. I'm wondering how it's made though. Wow. And that's I and it's just connected like there's a piece of plywood on the back. I don't know. It seems like a really kind of a custom type of thing. Yeah. I think it's neat though. I, I do. Okay, this is a different camera than what I just filmed the beginning on, but we did minimize a lot of the boxes. We got this mirror posted up. Well, that's not true. I'm going to post it on Facebook, see what we can do with that. And then got all the artwork out of the cases. We have still so much to go through, but we've made a dent and we're actually just going to take these a bunch of stuff to Goodwill. We're going to take this stuff here at the back of the truck, all of these boxes, and donate them. Because there's no point to throw it out. Pretty decent books. Some Christmas and kitchen stuff. This is actually a nice Pyrex piece. But we're going to donate all this stuff. And what's in here, under there, there. Laid before me is all of the treasure, the silver coins that we uncovered from the storage unit. So I wanted to lay it out like this so you guys and girls and everyone watching can get an idea of how many silver coins we actually found. So I will have to say, based in just real true value on the spot, this is probably the biggest score that we ever hit. You can find an item that's worth, you know, however many thousands of dollars. Like we have a painting that we think is worth thousands of dollars, but to sell it is a different story than to have it. With these coins right here, I would have absolutely no problem selling these if we wanted to sell these. So it's pretty crazy. I've kind of laid them out. I didn't even write that one out, but these are barber half dollars. And I think there's about 40 of those with various different dates. Some are from the late 1800s, but most are like 1904, 1908, 1909. And we have the Walking Liberty half dollars, which there's 50 of those, also varying dates, 1940s, mostly 1940s actually. So these are the random ones. This is actually the first coin that I found in the piggy bank. So this was the only dollar coin that was in the whole locker. So these are uh, silver quarters and various other coins. This one's really interesting. No idea what it actually is. It says United States of America, 10 cents. And it has like a walking Liberty lady on it. But then on the other side, there's an eagle on top of what looks like a family crest. I don't know what that is. These are the Liberty Bell halves. There's 20 of those which is still a lot. The Barber Quarters, which there's 70 of those plus, more than 70 of those, crazy. We got the Standing Liberty Quarters, which there's 20 of those about. Buffalo Nickels, about 45 to 50 of those. We got the Mercury Dimes, which we have around 65. And then we have the Kennedy Half Dollars, which some are silver and some are not. These are the only ones in question. And this is not silver. That's a dollar. And then the rest, I believe, from here over are all silver. Pretty crazy. I'm playing one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid, DuckTales, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. So I wouldn't say that it was a full-blown goal of mine, but the most interesting thing in my life has always been like the Indiana Jones character. Somebody, I love those movies. The original Indiana Jones, even the one with Shia LaBeouf. I actually have not seen the newest one, but 
I got to check that out. But somehow when people say, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? An astronaut, a policeman, a firefighter. I would have to say I did want to own a junkyard when I was a kid. So that makes sense. But the next thing would be like a treasure hunter. I just never saw that as a true possibility in life until later in life when I realized you don't have to go by any specific way of doing anything in this world. You can be a treasure hunter on your own freaking terms. I was really excited to share this with everybody after all of the things that we got from the storage unit. To have this as the icing on the cake is just mind blowing. So we are gonna be doing a antiques collectibles. So it's gonna be antiques collectibles, vintage items, porcelain stuff, plates, pots, uh, artwork, and all that kind of stuff in the next auction this coming Friday, 3 p.m. And then we're gonna take a hiatus all the way until March 1st, which we're gonna be doing a massive auction. So we're gonna take off about two weeks, two to three weeks from the auctions. And we will be announcing our March auction schedule when it comes. Antique auction this Friday coming up. Definitely, if you're into that kind of stuff, follow the link. We'll provide it in the description and see you there. Like I said before, you could sell these so easily on eBay, on the auction, on Facebook. If I wanted to get really ripped off, I could just take them to a pawn shop. These have intrinsic value. Is that the term? Uh, but I'm going to save all of this. So, right... I'm putting all this away, hopefully for Finn one day if she needs it or just if we have a family emergency and we need to bust this out. But I would estimate this a rough estimate between at the low end three at the high end to five thousand dollars for all of these. Uh, this is the equivalent of everything we spent on the entire unit, the U-Haul, the gas and even on the new rental of the new unit. Taxes, fees, all combined. I believe all of this covers that and then some. So for people who were saying this unit did not change your life, well, the harsh truth to you, I'm sorry if you thought that was just for clickbait. It was not. This unit did change my life and my perspective on everything involving the treasure hunting community and what you can actually find if you do it the right way. More big units to come this year. I can guarantee you all that. Stay tuned. And actually, we have a live in-person storage auction this week, which I cannot see any of the units that will be auctioned, so I have no idea what kind of stuff will be in them. But there is always a good chance that we can strike more gold. Stay tuned. Keep pushing, everybody. And thank you all for the support throughout this series. It has been an overpowering journey for me so far. Peace. And keep hunting. Hunting down them treasures.